on top of deadlines you'll be shocked mm-hmm. i actually never did a piece of homework in secondary school but i never got oh my god do you want to hear my tactics okay sure they're really good tactics so basically in because um so first what you do is you categorize all the t-shirt teachers mm-hmm. the ones that mm-hmm. enforce the ones that enforce homework the ones um the ones that enforce homework the ones that are lapsed in homework the ones that on occasion do homeworks and the ones that are either possibly going to go on like like maternity leave or something so you have to look you have to ask questions about them so mm-hmm. so you have to know about their families you have to know right okay so are you likely to be absent anytime soon and then what i do is in my bag i so i look at the i look at the homework assessment online okay and and i see what it consists of and then i look at the teacher and then i consult mm-hmm. my database of knowledge and then if the teacher is likely to be ill or absent for because you can tell why teachers are absent based on the register because mm-hmm. the register has these symbols so if they're l it's no, no if they're i it's because they're ill if they're l it's because it's something to do with family mm-hmm. and if they're mm-hmm. m M is the one which I never really got. M is like the super personal emergency one. That's I think that's maternity leave. I think that's when they're maybe pregnant or something. No, it's not. It's not. It's maternity not? leave mm-hmm. is J. Ah, okay, okay. I think. So then 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 you consult the registers. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then once you've consulted the registers, you then look at the homework assignment and then you see the teacher. Then you check the teacher's logs on the registers and then you find out the average of how many days they have off every week. So Okay. And then you look at, because substitute teachers are often reminded of homework, but they have no idea what the homework is. So what, then what you mm-hmm. do is you get a crappy piece of paper out your bag with some illegible scribbles on it. And then when they come over to you and ask to see your homework, you show them the illegible scribbles. And then they're like, is that the homework? And then you get a friend to vouch for you and you're like, yeah, his handwriting's just shit. Mm-hmm. And then that's how I never got in trouble for never doing homework. And okay. I still never did a piece of homework. Have you cons... You realize that you put yourself through all of that. And don't know, I did that in three hours. Don't even tell me that you've okay, done less good, than three hours good. of homework. Wait, I have done less hour than three hours of homework. Wait, what? That is not true, because you blow me off like every every like every two. You're days saying, saying in no, my in my life? Homework. In my life yeah. I've had less than three hours of homework, yeah. What in total? No way. You like you No, not three, three hours like, in total. No, 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 no. I thought hours, like, Oh, okay. I thought I thought you time. meant just at once. I was really confused. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Whoop. But yeah. See, school is rigged, so you have to rig it for yourself. Uh, but don't cheat. There's also other ways to get out of homework. Like, if you're a particularly <sighs> sporty person, enroll in as many extracurricular sports as you can, because mm-hmm. that is often a very good way to get out of homework. Mm-hmm. So, see, and that's a legitimate way to get out of homework. So that's a very good way to get out of it. Mm-hmm. And what's other good ways? Um, I was sick a lot, so... That's just because... And I have stupid fucking migraines that want me to die inside. So. so. <sighs> Drop out. No, that's not a good. That's not a good solution. Nope, it's not. 